Hey everyone, I've got a quick update of the Anker Solix X1 home energy system. You can now run parallel single phase X1 systems with up to 10 kilowatts of power and 60 kilowatt hours of storage. <laughs> it's awesome. And here's something exciting. Anker's PowerDot Pro, the smart gateway for whole home backup is coming in early 2026. It makes installation simpler and integration even smoother. Plus, the X1 now works with Amber and Origin for VPP. That means you can not only use your system for backup and self-consumption, but also join a VPP to save more, earn more, and help build a more sustainable grid. Let's head over to Anchor's booth at All Energy Australia and check out all the latest details. G'day, Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab. I'm here on day two at the exciting All Energy with Phil from Anchor Solex. In fact, Anchor Innovations and Solex, because you do so much. We I mean, do. I've got one of these systems at my lab. Absolutely love the look of it and the performance, but I'm going to tell you a bit more about it by asking Phil all the smart questions. <laughs> so, Phil, what are we standing in front of? It's a bit tall, a bit like you. Yeah, so th this is our, our X1 model. So it comes in three different flavors. You've got your AC coupled module, single phase hybrid module, and your three phase hybrid module. So this, what you see here is you've got your five kilowatt hour bricks and the, and the module sits on top. Cool, so each of these is five kilowatt hours of battery capacity. Yep. And the inverter is a five kilowatt hybrid inverter. Yep. It comes in both DC coupled, so you can put your PV on, yep. or AC coupled if you've already got PV or another brand of right. PV inverter. So really flexible as an add-on. Um, one of the things I really love about them is the display. Um, tell us about the display. Yeah, so one of the things that uh, Anchor being a, uh, an electronics company in other aspects of the business, we take a lot of feedback directly from consumers. And one of the things that people have told us is that except through the phone, there's no real way to interact with the battery. It's sort of a box on a wall, very expensive box. The screen is really resonating with consumers. The families love it, particularly people that aren't as tech savvy that don't want to have to go searching into their phone to find out how charged it is. If this is in the garage, you pull in at lunchtime or you know at the end of the day and you can get a little dopamine injection of information as to exactly what the you know the charge status is, how much solar you've made that day. Or even in the case of a blackout, this, this bar along here lights up blue. So if you do drive in, you see a blue glow, well, you know, actually we're in a blackout now so I can take appropriate action. So it is just such a pro-consumer tool that I'd love to see it come back to the industry in general. You hit on my number one dislike about a lot of batteries is you don't know what's happening with them unless you get your phone out, log in, look at the app, hope you've got internet. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. And all you really want to know is, is it full? I just want to go, oh, 68%. That's good. It, was, you know, it wasn't the sunniest day today, but you know, I know. And I love the fact that it actually goes off, so it's saving energy. Yep. And when you approach it, it's sort of like it welcomes you with, hi, I'm here and I'm charged up today. So the display is really, really interactive with the customer. And I love this little light. You know? yep. It's kind of like, for a start, in a garage, in a dark garage, as you approach, it just lights up for your feet. And like you say, the color changes. Yep. It's really good. Now, we've got two of them here. Why have we got two stacks? So for customers that are looking for a bit more horsepower, you want to max out your single phase capacity. What we have here is our virtual 10 kilowatt hour system, sorry, 10 kilowatt system. So you've got two fives running in parallel with 20 kilowatt hours underneath. But to the consumer, the system appears as a 10 kilowatt hour, 40 kilowatt hour system. So they've got plenty of horsepower if they're looking at joining potentially a VPP or they've got a larger single phase home, one of the new builds maybe in Western Sydney or something along those lines where you've got a big air conditioner, you've got plenty of roof space and you just want to really maximise that federal rebate. This clean two tower solution is a really popular option. One of the things I also love about it is how skinny it is. I mean, garages are often not that big. You want to get your car in, you've got to have a bollard in front of it. This thing's one of the thinnest batteries on the market too. So it really fits in nicely. But you said combining the two together gives you 10 kilowatts. But what about when the grid fails? Do you still have 10 kilowatts? Yeah, so that's one of the things we're actually launching at the show at the moment. So we've got right here is our gateway product. So this is called Power Dock. So this will offer whole home backup in the circumstance when, the, when the, uh, the grid does fall over on you, which unfortunately is probably gonna start happening a little bit more often these days. But this at the moment, so what you'd have uh, without the gateway, it still has built-in backup. So if a customer doesn't feel the need to go the whole hog, 
they can have a, a, yeah, their essential loads all backed up. They'll get their lights, fridge, internet, most of a home under a 30 amp breaker. This just gives it that little bit more wiggle room for those customers that want that peace of mind and comfort of a whole home backed up. Are we allowed to look inside? We sure are, yeah. Let me I'm pretty excited by this this option because it does more than just allow you to have 10 kilowatts of backup because you've got your two inverters, yep. two 5 kilowatt inverters, but it combines the two, and I think this is a special feature, to give you the 10 kilowatts on no grid backup. Yep. Yeah, 63 amps. That's so that, it gives you that full home option. Full, full home. Yep. But you've also got smart port option. Now, I was talking to one of your tech guys before, and he was telling me that means you can have a, uh, a third-party solar inverter, for instance, connect to this gateway. So as an add-on to an existing system. Yeah, correct. So the AC coupled unit, which is a different head piece, at the moment is a really popular option. This is gonna take that to a whole nother level because in that circumstance where you've got your string inverter, it's a couple of years old, it's a complete waste to pull it off and replace it with a hybrid. This gives you the option to integrate your stringing system that's already there into the battery and gives you black start, so your string will keep going in a blackout, gives you that backup option. And we're looking at some potential f future additions to this and maybe add some, some fun toys down the line. Cool. The other thing I like about uh, this gateway is that it makes the installation so fast. I mean, the cost of labor is quite high in Australia. And yeah, if you can reduce the amount of labor that the electrician has to do, uh, it's gonna reduce the cost of the installation. And this is a pre-wired solution. You're just bringing your cables from the inverter straight into this. Uh, it's, it's a really great way of combining it. Is this suitable for outdoor locations? Yeah, it absolutely is. So the, the system is IP66 rated across the board. Uh, and the actual, the battery is the only one in the market with a C5M rating, uh, which enables us to be installed closer to the ocean than basically any other battery on the market. And one thing you did touch on is the installation. So in when this launches in Q1 next year, what you'll be able to do is have one line from each system. If you're going to run a parallel system, run in, it speeds up that install time and gets the guys off site and home safer and faster, which is what we want to do. Cool. Now this is the single phase solution, but I believe you've got a three phase solution. Shall we go and check that out? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. Well, here we are at the three phase solution. Now, uh, equally, you've got two units here. So tell me what the capacity is of these units. Yeah, so what we've got here is the, the, the real Rolls-Royce solution at the moment. So if you're really wanting to, to take it to the nth degree with full 50 kilowatt hours, this is what you're going to see here. So we've got two three-phase inverters running in parallel together. So the customer will see a virtual single system. Two 12 three-phase, which gives you 24 kilowatts of, of inverter capacity with 15, 20 and 15 in three towers. So nice and clean, tuck it up against the garage wall and you'd be able to 200% the solar. So you've got heaps of room for panels on the roof. This would really be for the customer that's trying to chase those VPP wins. Wow. So you could put 48 kilowatts of solar on the roof, 24 kilowatts of three-phase power. Now the magic number, 50 kilowatt hours of storage. That means that's the maximum for the cheaper home battery uh, program rebate. So you can really tick those uh, those numbers. That's, that's a pretty impressive system. Something that uh, a lot of people uh, don't realize with three-phase is really most homes are single-phase loads. So you actually need that big size to yeah. run it because you really got three eight kilowatt circuits Red. that's right and your kitchen might be eight kilowatts and your aircon might be eight kilowatts Correct. yeah yeah so, so this gives that customer just loads of flexibility and, and once the, the the gateway again will work alongside this system so again in a blackout you're going to have a lot of discretion as to how you run your home and we're giving the consumer that choice of how they want to run it so all the features of the gateway for the single phase will be available for the three phase as well. Yep. So ease of install, uh, IP66, uh, C5M rated yep. for close to the ocean, uh, which is a lot of Australia. <laughs> a very large amount, yep. yeah. But what about EV charging? Have you got any solutions for that? Just over here. Okay, let's go and yeah. check it out. Yes. So Phil, uh, this is a very attractive looking unit. Uh, is this like a mini EV charger or can it charge a, a car fast? Yeah, so this is our V1 car charger. So this is our new option that we're releasing here at the show as well. This is a, your, your, your standard AC charger, but made by Anchor Solics and integrated with our battery and home solar solution. So what you're going to see here is this is our single phase version, 7.4 kilowatt 
output, plenty of juice to get that EV topped up for most family usage. We also have the three phase version, the 22 kilowatt charger. Um, looks the same, feels the same, just a really nice form and function. It'll end up on the same app as the, the, the battery and the, the, the inverter, so you're gonna be able to do a lot of things built in there. So does this EV charger integrate with the full Anchor system? So let's say I've got you know Anchor uh, storage and solar, uh, will this work as part of that whole uh, ecosystem? Yeah, so you'll get a lot of choice in how you want it, the, your, your car to charge. So it does integrate into the same app. It appears as an object in the customer's home and you can set green charge or max charge or different sort of parameters of how you want to get your EV topped up. Right. So Anchor do a lot more than just, uh, Anchor Solix do a lot more than just batteries and EV chargers. You've also got uh, Anchor Innovations here. So we check them out. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Hey, Phil. Uh, actually, I knew about Anchor from these products before I knew about your uh, inverters. Yep. I've got one of these in my bag at all times, exactly yep. this model. Uh, the energy density that you're getting and also your chargers are amazing. Yeah, so this is Anchor's bread and butter. We're the largest phone charging brand in the world. Um, and, and you can see a full range of our products that we've got on display here today. And it, you know, this gives a customer peace of mind that our bigger batteries are built to the same quality and, and standards and design that our smaller batteries are. So a lot of consumers now are discovering the X1 through their phone charger. So it's, it's a really exciting time. And what you see here, if you've got something that you can throw in your laptop bag to keep everything topped up, your home docks that are gonna be able to do a bit more sort of like multiple charging with the screen. These are a really cool little one where you've got the, the cable built in. Yeah. So that can top it up, little magnetic one. This one I'm gonna steal when the show is done. Nice and skinny one so you can magnet your phone. Straight to it. But it doesn't get bulky and it isn't you know, impeding in your thing. And then we've got some of our most popular products. So these, um, these chargers, so that's your charging dock. Three USB-Cs, plenty of output, 160 watts, so you're able to do a super fast charge for your phone, and then the smaller version of the, of the phone charger. So something I learned about uh, these is they use a technology called gallium nitrate, which means they're super small and powerful. Uh, it's a very, very efficient uh, electronics inside of one of these things. I mean, that's 160 watts in this little tiny thing. Yeah, so three USB-Cs, you can run a couple of laptops off this. Easily, I, I do it. Yeah, yeah, right, that's pretty impressive. Now you've also got portable batteries. Let's go and check those out. Yeah, over here. Phil, uh, these are one of the most popular things I have at my home, which is portable power stations with my neighbors, yep. <laughs> including my camera operator here, because it means you can take power with you, you know, in your car when you go camping, uh, the, the USB ports, the fact that you can charge them from solar. Uh, so tell me about the range that you have here. Yeah, absolutely. So our camping range, our PPS, is one of the most popular products that we make globally. And they, the full range from your C300, which is actually a really cool little light product. You can throw it in it like if you were doing like a big hike in a rucksack without too much hassle and you've still got AC output. And then it scales all the way up to the big boy at the F3000 where that's much more almost a rolling backup. If, you, you know, if you're in a blackout or if you're doing some serious heavy duty camping, this is where you, you, you're probably gonna wanna live. Now, a couple other cool products that we've got as well in the Anchor Solix family. We've got the Ever, Eversoft fridge, Everfrost fridge, sorry. Um, that is a battery powered, solar powered fridge. On the roll, opens up, nice and easy. Really good to keep the, uh, the amber liquids cold on a warm day. And then we've got my passionate project here. This is the solar bank. This is the uh, effectively the renter's battery, plug and play into a GPO. We're working on the legality of it here in Australia and hopefully we'll, we'll be able to keep make some progress over the next little while. So Phil, I'll let you in on a secret. Actually, I've done some testing on this product because I'm on the standards committee and I'm very confident it's perfectly safe. In fact, if you go to Europe, this is a very common thing to have on your balcony, just plug it in. Yep. So it meets all the very strict requirements in Europe. We just got to convince our Australian regulators that it's it's as safe in Australia as it is in Germany. Yes. <laughs> cool. Well, Phil, thanks for showing us around uh, Anchor Innovations and Anchor Solex. No problem. Thanks for your time, Glenn, and uh, thanks for everyone's time. Cool. Cheers, mate. Appreciate yeah. it. Cool.